Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Today, let's look at a strange little phenomenon called keyboard ghosting. Now, before I jump into the content of this episode, I do want to give credit where credit is due. Do check out the video description for a link to a Microsoft page. On that page, they explain the whole issue behind keyboard ghosting in great detail. And at the same time, they also have this little web application at the top that allows you to test which keys on your keyboard actually face this problem. So yeah, definitely very interesting to visit and at least to try out that little applet. So what is keyboard ghosting? Essentially, this refers to the fact that on your keyboard, there may be certain sets of keys that you cannot press at the same time. You just can't do it. For example, when I hold down H and J on my keyboard, the K key is no longer recognized as you can see here. The reason why this is happening very, very briefly is because essentially your keyboard identifies which keys are being pressed via a grid of wires underneath the keyboard. So every time you press a button, essentially you're creating a short between two wires. The key you have pressed is identified by which pair of wires have been shorted together. That is all well and good, but when multiple keys are held down, you might create some confusion to the electronics because it is not able to identify exactly which keys you have pressed down. So refer to this image as an example. Let's say now I know these four wires are shorted down. This creates four intersections on the keyboard. However, many different combinations of button presses can create this particular pattern in terms of the wires. Whether I actually have all four of these keys held down whether I only have two at the diagonals or whether I have any combination of three, the shorting of the wires are exactly the same. And what this means is, I cannot figure out which buttons exactly were pressed by the user. This is basically the reason why keyboard ghosting happens. Some modern keyboards, especially gaming ones, essentially don't use this pattern of grids, and as a result, ghosting doesn't happen. Instead, every single key is an individual switch. That means you can uniquely identify every single key that is pressed, even if you just jam your whole hand down on a keyboard. Of course, this means lots of additional electronics, and that is why some gaming keyboards are significantly more expensive. Anyway, that's it. That is keyboard ghosting in a nutshell. I hope you learned something today, but until next time, you're watching 0612TV. Hello, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget I appreciate every like, favorite, and comment you give me. If you'd like to see more from me in the future, don't forget to subscribe. For more updates outside of YouTube, do follow my official Twitter account at 0612TV. And if you'd like to see more of my work, you can also check out my About Me page. Once again, thank you very much for watching and until next time, you're watching 0612TV.